Welcome back to the channel, everybody. I am Florida Boy. This is my EDC channel. Today, you can see we have a giant hulking box on the table, and this is going to be from Odin Wolf. Now, they recently had two new releases, one being the W Picnic, this guy right here. We did an unboxing on him. Uh, really, really, really cool folding serrated blade, and actually excellent, excellent price on something like this. So this is something that's a little bit, um, had a little bit later of a release date. So we're going to do this in, you know, old Florida boy fashion where we're going to do the unboxing video and then we will come back for another video and have a full review. Let's get into it. So this one, I am super, super stoked. Uh, this is called the W Machete. Um, I don't, you know, I don't know what uh, what the the W's and stuff are for. Here we go. <laughs> We're gonna try to. There we go. Oh, you know what? One of my lights is set up for a different. Oh, there we go. That was weird. I just realized one of my lights was the temperature was set for warm. I don't. Hmm, the rest of them are cool white weird um all right so oh my gosh all right <laughs> man the odin wolf boxes are just like serious business these things are just so nice their packaging is so on point all right let's take a look i'm i'm pretty stoked to check this knife out odin wolf is one of those brands that every time you open a big knife from them they usually go like all out like it's 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 pretty nice and their prices are just absolutely insane uh these are really nice to get you get these with usually the bigger knives at least that i've gotten too so you get like the this card's knife care tips you can scan the qr code and that will teach you how to take care of your knife uh you know photo photo contest for instagram what else do we have be a part of the wolf pack there we go make sure i show these cards for everybody some people are interested in you know just every little piece of the puzzle so i don't like to skip anything there we go okay how do i like the new product odin wolf well we're about to find out we're about to find out it is the od green i, I think that's what they call it um it, it is it is an a very OD green of an OD. OD of a green? Green of an... Uh, I don't know. Alright. <laughs> oh, man. So, uh, we can see here, I don't have a lot of room <laughs> to, to pick it up. And so, we'll, we'll do little pieces at a time. So, here is the sheath. There we go. We see we got a bunch of little eyelets so that we can add, subtract, you know, just add things to the to the sheath itself. We even got a couple eyelets on the uh, the the. I guess that would be a belt buckle, not a belt buckle, but a belt loop. Um, so yeah, the the sheets are super nice. I like the sheets. They are. Um, it's it's not a taco style. I don't think either. It's got a seam all the way around. So I think these are two piece. It's hard to say. Hmm. The sheets are always very nice. This knife weighs like 1 million pounds and I'm not losing retention. I can't. Well, there you go. I'll turn it completely upside down. So this is this is a heavy boy and it, the sheath is holding it in there. So let's see what's behind. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Oh man. <laughs> oh, there's just something about a giant chunk of sharp metal. <laughs> uh, hold on. I need to get a. Oh man. I just went into a sneezing fit. I just. Oh, I stopped. I stopped. Edit, edit, edit. Oh, my allergies in the morning, I swear, are like the worst thing in the entire world. Okay clean off some of this oil did have a little bit of oil just to keep her to keep her safe 
Oh man, that is. Oh, that is that's a machete. All right, there it is. Odin Wolf's giant hunk of D two. <laughs> so I've got a few. I've got a few big knives from them now, and yep, this is probably my favorite. <laughs> Uh, a is machete, so it's it's super awesome. <laughs> Just you know, machete machete equals awesome. But um, it's kind of got a a worn cliffy machete blade, which is kind of cool. Um, blade police don't have to come after me. It's a machete blade. I know, I know, but it's also a worn cliff. So uh, it, it's it's double cool for me because worn cliff is my favorite blade shape. Uh, there you go. Side note for future trivia: worn cliff. Favorite blade shape. Ooh, or is it a Tonto? No, it's a Warncliff. Definitely a Warncliff. Tonto and super, super close second. Like, if I could have a knife, have a baby, it would have to be a Warncliff. But if it wasn't a Warncliff, it could definitely be a Tanto. At least one or the other. That would that would be my preference. So, moving back to this guy right here. <laughs> trailing, trailing off. Uh, I just woke up not too long ago, so, um, yeah, you know little little loopy so we do have a spot where we can add a uh, a lanyard and I think that is super important especially since this is labeled as machete having a lanyard loop is definitely a must-have if this did not have a lanyard loop I would 100% say this is not a machete because um, machetes you know what they're meant for they're meant for really 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 hard use and um, yeah you're gonna want a lanyard loop when you're outside chopping stuff down you know, through the Amazon, the rainforest, especially if you drop this bad boy and you're in the Amazon rainforest because you're never going to find it. Uh, so going back to the blade right here, uh, the coating is very nice. It's uh, got like a satiny finish to it. It feels nice. Uh, nothing rough. I like it. I like the grinds. Yeah, I like the, and it looks like down here on the bottom. That's interesting. So right here, we can see the grind lines where it changes. Um, I'm going to have to get some calipers because it looks like on both sides that tapers and it becomes, it gets a little bit thinner of an edge geometry right there at the end, maybe for just more of a fine cut if you needed it. So that actually adds a lot of versatility, like a little bit of utility. Now I know there's going to be 99.9% .9 you know, of people going to get in the comments and say, I have no use for a machete. I live in an urban environment. Well, yeah, me too, <laughs> but, um, I do have some pesky trees and stuff outside that this guy is going to go wall up in Super Mario and smash people around, you know, smash them around. Um, so, you know, there's still use. If you have a yard, you, it's still useful. I mean, if you have like around my little fence thing I have going on back there, I get these little, like, it's almost like tiny bamboo stalks and that's about as thick as they get but they are a giant pain and uh yeah i definitely need to um i always have to chop them down so that's probably what we're going to test this bad boy with now going down to the the handle i'm going to have to look it up on the website uh this knife was actually not live when they sent it to me so um i have to i you know pre-recorded video waiting for them to say it dropped and then um you know, then I can actually drop my video of this knife. So I don't know what the handle construction is. Let me grab, there we go. Wipe off some of the stuff on the blade. Um, so I'm going to have to look, I'm going to have to look at the, the website to see if I can figure out what the handle material is. And I, I my guess would be a DLC coating. That would always be the guess for pretty much everything that comes across the table that has a black blade until I'm told otherwise. I assume DLC. Um, so yeah, it's kind of hard to it's kind of hard to say, but it doesn't uh, it doesn't feel plasticky, but it could be. It could just be some kind of some kind of polymer. Um, I don't I don't think G10. I don't know. We'll get nice and close up real quick before we wrap this video up. Because like I said, this is just the unboxing. 
nice jumping going down the back. It's uh, not not very aggressive. I would have liked to have seen the jumping a little bit more aggressive, but it's hard to say because I have not taken this out to use it. The texturing on the actual show side and the back side, you know, face side, back side, front side, whatever you want to call it. Uh, this jumping is actually, or this texturing jumping is actually pretty aggressive. I like that. Um, everything else is really good. We do have some texturing on the butt of the, I almost said the butt of the gun, the butt of the knife right here. <laughs> so if you really wanted to go hammer time with this, you totally could. Um, I'm not 100% sure what this jumping is for. Uh, aside from being weight savings, um, you don't have a forward finger troil here. So you're not really going to choke up. I guess you could choke up to about this point right here. And then you could apply pressure to this little um, thinner geometry portion of the grind. That way, I guess, if you wanted to do any kind of particular cut, you could. Uh, that actually makes more sense now that I hold it and I'm you know, putting it in that position. So I think that was the intent. And um, I, I think, you know, without putting it into practice, it feels like it was executed fairly well. Uh, looking at this blade shape, I can almost use the full portion of that blade. Um, so this is going to be where I wonder if we're going to have a problem. So we'll say right about here, which is exactly where that portion is because of the way that you have, um, you know, almost like a bolstery, not really, but you, you do have on the handle here, it kind of that choil that keeps you from, you know, keeps you from sliding up and out. Um, since that drops lower than the actual blade itself, the actual contact of the blade on a flat surface stops right as you get to that thinner geometry. So, um, yeah, you'll, you're going to be able to use this portion and my guess would be for f food or prep food prep. Uh, that would make the most sense for this little section here. If this is your tool and you're out in the middle of a forest or you are in the woods and you brought one knife and this was the knife, you would have your chopping side and then you would have your food prep side. So, um, I think, I think this is actually a really, really nice knife, uh, and to be honest, I don't think that, you know, I don't think the price is going to be bad. Odin Wolf is extremely good about their prices. That's why I enjoy the companies sending me their knives. Um, I haven't received anything from them yet that I have not enjoyed and thought that it was well worth whatever price they've put on the box. And this, I'm sure this is going to be one of those. Um, I would like to see this knife definitely under 100 uh, just because we are D2, but it's a giant chunk of D2. I remember fixed blades are always cheaper than, than folders. So I'm going to hope this thing probably comes in a little bit closer to like the, you know, like the 90 ish range. Um, I'm feeling 80 to 90, Put place your, place your bets down in the bottom before I, he sent me the link and I haven't clicked on it yet. Uh, I wanted to do an unbiased opinion. So, uh, you know, place place your bets. What do you think? What do you think this knife's going to cost before you click on that link? <laughs> my, my guess is I'm going to say 84 99. That's, that's my guess. I hope it's not going to end up being like 120. <laughs> it won't be, it won't be there. Like I said, their price is excellent. So this has been the Odin Wolf W picnic. This is just the unboxing. Uh, I will have a full review and we are going to go out and we are going to chop some of those trees that I talked about earlier. And um, we will see how it holds up. See if it's really a machete. Machete. So this is going to be it, guys. Thank you so much for stopping by and checking out this nice little unboxing video. Make sure you stay tuned for the full review. That's the good stuff. I promise that's when we're going to go out and actually play with this thing. So keep keep your eyes out. Turn on the, you know, hit the bell so you know whenever I post it. Thank you guys so much. I'll catch you on the next one.